President Bush reportedly is close to naming the person he wants to succeed, Alberto Gonzalez, as the Attorney General of the United States. The White House says that announcement is unlikely this week, and the President hasn't made his choice as of yesterday. But the New York Times reports that former Solicitor General Theodore Olson is among the leading candidates. The paper also quotes Democrats who promise a fight if they think the President's nominee is too partisan. But do Democrats have the political capital or leverage to block a nominee after spending most of the last year forcing Gonzalez to resign? Here to discuss the upcoming nomination and confirmation process is Victoria Tenzing, former Deputy the assistant attorney general. Victoria, thanks for coming on. Sure. So, it, of all the people, and I don't mean this against Ted Olson, who I think seems like a very smart, decent person, but of all the nominees whose names you could float, potential nominees whose names you could float out there, his has got to be close to the top on the polarizing list among Democrats. Democrats don't like him. Why would the White House say this, that he's under consideration? Well, maybe the White House is getting really smart about who they would consider for attorney general. Look, the next attorney general cannot have cannot afford to have to spend time with legal training wheels. So you're right. going to have to you can't have one second where you have to learn what does who does what in which department at the Justice Department. And by good fortune, Ted Olson has that criterion in addition to being one of the best legal experts right. in our country. I mean, I don't know if you remember, but Ted was back in the Reagan Justice yes. Department, and then he was Solicitor General on 9-11, um, and had to deal with all the issues as Solicitor General that the new Attorney General is going to have to deal with. I, I think he's a superior guy, and I think he would be far better than Alberto Gonzalez. Not that saying much. Well, yeah. But on, I, my, my only point is a political one. His name, because he was involved or perceived to be involved in anti- Hillary and Bill Clinton activities during the 90s, his name is one that resonates with almost all Democrats. But, but you know, Tucker, we have gotten past that. I mean, that okay. was an issue uh, because I was working on, on his nomination for right. Solicitor General. That was an issue then. But I think by now there has to be some honest Democrats in the Senate who know that when Ted was Solicitor General, he was a superb lawyer and he was not partisan. As a matter of fact, um, Senator Feingold praised Ted for his argument in McCain-Feingold. And, and, oh, by the way, Ted won the case, too, before the Supreme Court. So that may, so, that may not endear him to many conservatives, but, but Feingold is one of the most liberal senators. He certainly uh, is. But Feingold is also, I think, in contrast to a lot of people on the Hill, a man of principle. Fe Feingold goes against his own principle. party when well, he you disagrees just need with a few, them. You just need a few of those. You so know? Here, here's what, uh, I don't know, here's what some senators are saying. Harry Reid, the leader of the Senate Democrats, mm -hmm. Ted Olson will not be confirmed, he says. He's a partisan. The we need is a partisan. Then you go over to the Republican side, Orrin Hatch. I've been warned by a number of Democrats they're not going to let that happen. The White House, if they put forward Olson's nomination, don't understand the people up here. They're rolling over already. I mean, if, if Orrin Hatch says, don't do it. Well, I mean, I'm not sure Orrin Hatch could have said right after that, but, you know, I'm going to be here to support right. Ted he, because I know how strongly Orrin backed Ted for Solicitor General back in, in uh, the 2000. 2001. Does the White House want to fight on this? Do you think? I don't know. You know, they're not. They're not telling me whether they want to fight or not. But here's one of the most important factors for Ted Olson, and that is, he really cares about the Justice Department, and the people who work there know that. I mean, why else? Why else would he even consider taking the position? Right. He's just, you know, he's just gotten his life back in order. His right. wife was killed on 9-11, and he just married a wonderful woman, Lady Booth. Uh, he's making more money than he would be making as attorney general in his yes. private, private law practice. He doesn't need his resume ticket punched, for goodness sake. The only reason he would consider taking this job is because he cares so much about the department and about the morale and about the reputation. Isn't this what the Democrats want? But then why is the White House—I mean, I, I, I think you make a, a really strong argument. I just have seen this White House again and again kind of hang out its, its allies to dry here a little bit. Why would they float his name? Well, they finally uh, have an A-team. They have an A-team all put together there, yeah. I mean, at the White House, with Ed Gillespie. Right. And, but, but, you know, but, but, so finally, maybe they have people who are there who know that it's important to get a good attorney but, but, general. But, I mean, just as a procedural matter, so they just quickly, they know— they have to know that you float Ted Olson's name out there and mm -hmm. people like Harry Reid are going to go bonkers, right? Harry Reid's going to go bonkers over any Republican well, well, who's strong enough to be attorney but, general. But why, do, why doesn't someone from the White House go over to Harry Reid's office and in private say, here's the guy we're thinking about, mm -hmm. here's the case for him. You know, I float this on the AP wire where Ted Olson is likely to get certain to be well, criticized. you got, you got to bring somebody, you bring Gillespie here to ask him that, but I'm just telling you, you couldn't find a better candidate than Ted Olson. How, who meets the criteria that I've just 
talked about. I don't know. I no put, training wheels. I put my own name forward, but it's not taken seriously at this point, unfortunately. Well, hang around. <laughs> I will. That's my plan. You've summed up my career plan in one <laughs> sentence. Hang around. Victoria Tensing, thank you very much. <laughs>